Charlie is on the mend. Tonight, the dog left to die in a buffalo garbage tote is now recovering at the Erie County SPCA. Good afternoon. Good evening once again. The experts at the SPCA are focused right now on helping Charlie heal. The search for who tossed this loving pup into the trash continues tonight. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rebecca Thornburg brings us up to speed on this case. He almost didn't make it through the night. When cases are this extreme and they're this emaciated, you're never really sure right away what's going on internally. But since arriving at the Erie County SPCA yesterday, his caretakers say they've had to bandage his tail from wagging so much and hitting the side of his cage. His tail hasn't stopped wagging. As far as he's concerned, he's going to survive. Charlie was found by sanitation workers early yesterday morning in a garbage tote. The pit bull terrier mix was barely alive, freezing, and had bloody wounds. Now he is showing an incredible spirit to survive. There's no doubt in my mind that he knows he's receiving a lot of prayers and well wishes from the people who have seen him. The SPCA is giving Charlie constant care in the dog ICU to help him gain some weight and heal his cuts. Right, Chief Communications Manager Gina Browning says investigators cannot say just yet exactly what could have happened to the innocent dog. Uh, some of the issues, yes, they could be consistent with dog fighting. Some of the other issues could be consistent with several other things. So we're trying very hard not to jump to conclusions. Because Charlie was in such critical condition, it is still not certain how long the road to recovery will be. We know that there is one person or some people who are responsible for this dog being in this condition, but there are thousands of other people who are trying to help him, and that's reassuring, that's inspiring. The SPCA is working with the Erie County District Attorney's Office to figure out the reason this little guy was left on the streets. You can call their number at 875-7360 if you have any information about this case. Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News.